Hey guys, it's Mike here from Error Page. If you've started using Midjourney, uh, you've probably already experienced the revolution. You know, it's really mind blowing what it can come up with. And I'm not going to try and sell you on using it or even show you how to use it. I'm going to focus in this video on how to use it for websites because there is one trick really that, that you can do that'll make it way more useful and flexible. So I've got here the evolution of a design. This was my very first attempt at using Midjourney, and it was so easy uh, to get the image prompt to give me what I wanted. Uh, incredible, really. All I had to do was type in um, Imagine into the Discord channel. Uh, so, you know, you make a prompt using Imagine. Okay, and then you type what you want the image to be. So in this case, I typed a website building app emerges from pink and purple cloud with gold wires and tabs interconnecting. Uh, you don't need to use all of the parameters. I mean, there's a lot of technical stuff that you can do. For me, I got exactly what I wanted straight away on the first try just by typing a kind of stream of consciousness um, description of what I had in my mind. So it gave me these variations. And then I chose the first and the third one to expand on a little bit. And I ended up going with the third one. I got a new version of it and then I upscaled it uh, to get this. So this was my final image. And from start to finish, this was probably about five to ten minutes. Um, since then, I've added it onto our website, and I think it looks really great. But to get it to work there, I had to do a few things. So I'm going to show you uh, what I did. The obvious thing is is the background. Okay, in Midjourney right now, to the best of my knowledge, you can't make it generate a transparent file without a background. So you're always going to get this background, and when we bring it in what we're going to see is that, and if you've ever tried to use images in websites, you've come across this. Uh, no matter how hard you try, you cannot get this gradient to match with your background. I mean, I've seen other YouTubers demonstrate this and they kind of cheat a little bit by using a really basic gradient that doesn't really hit the edges. But it's impossible. You can be here all day. You're not going to be able to get it to match exactly. You can get it pretty close. Uh, so let's try and get it as close as possible. Okay, so I mean, even that is, is about as close as we can get. The bottom right corner is, is matching, but the rest just doesn't blend in. So all you have to do is, is get it pretty close. And then we're going to use a plugin in Figma called um, Icons 8 Background Remover. Okay, Icons 8 Background Remover. So you just search for that plugin and, and run it. And then you select the image and, and do Remove Background. And because we already made the other background very close, it's going to look pretty seamless. Uh, if you try to put this now onto a completely different background, it's going to look horrible. So I'll show you what I mean here. Um, if we change this to to green, you know, something that just kind of clashes. Now we're really able to see the, I won't say imperfections, but where the background remover has not uh, not detected exactly what is intended to be the background and foreground. So yeah, as long as you have a similar background, even it doesn't have to be identical. Like in, in the thumbnail of this video, I've used it on a plain black and that works pretty well as well. You can then use this image and you can resize it and, and reframe it and so on. And it will come out looking just perfect. And then to get it out of Figma again, uh, you just export 
so you select the frame and then export and this is going to come out without the um, the background and upload it to your favorite no code website building tool and use the image and you're ready to roll so that's it guys that's my tip for using mid journey for your website I'm going to be using this thing all day, every day. I probably will never build a website again that doesn't have mid journey um, images on there. And with chat GPT to write the copy, it's like the no code universe has just expanded by a billion times. So it's a really exciting time to be a no coder. And uh, I'll be making more on these series as I progress through my journey with with this AI stuff. So if you're interested, like and subscribe, and I'll share with you everything that I find out. Thanks, guys.